Hi, and welcome to this lesson for the flamenco guitar. I'm Ben Stubbs, and I want to show you how to play a falsetta for soleares. And this is one that you may already know or may have heard of before, and it's pretty basic, but I want to show you how to play it in a way that's less basic. All right, so let's get started with our first falsetta for soleares. It starts here on F, that's the first fret of the sixth string, and right before that, we're going to get started with that nuance that I was talking about. This is going to make your falsetta sound just right. So right before the F, you're going to do a raqueo on the treble strings. Just open like that. Suelta. That means that we're going to have a loose raqueo. Not a flicked one. Not flicking out. Not pinza. But loose. So you may use three fingers, AMI, or you may use four fingers. And in my case, I prefer to use four. That's just my personal preference. So I strike those on the treble strings right before I hit my F. It's a pretty brisk move. Regular speed, it goes like this. And then after we've struck that F with the raqueo, then we're ready to anchor our thumb here and strike our A note. Then B with the second finger on the second fret. Okay, now this third finger here playing the C note is very important. That's going to be staying put for a little while. So we're going to have these two overlapping notes, F and C. And they're going to ring together as we continue on to D. Open on the fourth string, E. So let's do that again from the top. Raqueo, F. Okay, so that F, you notice I did a golpe with my ring finger. So that's a simultaneous movement that we do. We strike the string with our thumb and we do a golpe right at the same time. A quick little tip here on thumb work. A lot of guitarists, when they switch over for the first time to flamenco guitar, they wonder when they're using their thumb, what the heck am I supposed to do with my fingers? Where do I anchor them to keep my hand stable in one place? So while I'm trying to get traction underneath the strings with my thumb, they think that they're supposed to put their fingers on the surface, on the face of the guitar, and that's not the answer. We don't want to do that because we don't want to limit our access to these fingers when we need them. At any given moment, we might need to do arpeggios or a tremolo right after we've done some thumb work. Anything's possible on the flamenco guitar, really, and so we need those fingers, but we also don't want to just have them stay put and get a bad habit going. But what we can do is we can anchor our index finger or maybe at times our ring finger here on the E string while we're doing that thumb work. So we can get some traction like we want underneath the string and we can get some stability with our hand. We don't have to just go it alone and have our hand just floating out here and hope that we get on the right string when it needs to get there. We also need some sensory input Without looking at the strings, we need that finger there, that index finger touching the first string, so we can really tell immediately through sensory input that we are where we are in, in accordance with the strings, in relationship to the strings. Where are we? So this is going to tell how much space we have between our thumb and our index. It's going to help us a lot without having to constantly be looking here in this area. So that's a little tip on the thumb. So going back here with our falsetta, we've done the scratch. And on that F, particularly, we do a golpe. And then we have a G and go back to F again. And then our next notes, which is our resolution. So that's E and E. We do a golpe there. And then we have a hammer on with our fourth finger on the third string. And then we have got our major note there, and then both the second and first strings get hit at the same time with a thumb with a golpe added. All together. Once again, a little bit slower. Okay, suelta, rasgueado. 
once again. Okay, that's the movement. And then we're anchored here on the A, strike it. And then we anchor here on the D string. And then B, C, D, E, F. And what do we get at the very end? We get a, basically a power chord right here. And our second finger, we just keep it there even though it's not really playing a note, it's not playing that E note because we have our fourth finger on our F note, but it's adding some reinforcement. Now for the second part. Okay, everything's the same. And then we come back down to the low F again. And notice that time when I first started that out, the F, I didn't do the Suerte Raquel right before that. I didn't do that. It was only for the first time, the very beginning. Okay, so once again. Now we've come to the part where we're going to use al tapua. Al tapua is a thumb technique where we move it down, up, down, up, or sometimes down, down, up, or a number of different patterns, but it's basically a pattern that we use with our thumb, and it many times uses a golpe with the ring finger, and that's what we're going to do here. So, the fretting fingers are going to be as such. Fourth finger here on the G sharp, that's the fourth fret of the sixth string. And then the third finger is going to be here on our F, which is the third finger on the fourth string. And then the second finger is going to be on the second fret of the third string, playing the A note. Okay. And then our striking finger here, the thumb, strikes that note here on the sixth string. And then downward, striking three strings above with a golpe and then up thumb and repeat that movement G sharp down golpe and up so let me play those two patterns one more time okay we've got those done and out of the way the last one the very same way that we did it before but this time no upward stroke with the thumb so we play, we play those three together Resolve this. G sharp, F, E. Hammer on. Okay, once again, slower. One more time. So let's give this a full speed run through on our metronome at 126 beats per minute. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Let's say this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and do exactly that. And tap on like and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of every time I put out a weekly tutorial. And also, if you like the tabs and backing tracks, go ahead on over to patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com.